Panasonic Evervolt. One of the world's leading solar panel and battery manufacturers is now introducing its own home energy storage system. In today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the Panasonic Evervolt system, and we're actually going to be joined by one of Panasonic's senior engineers to help us understand more about the technology, the features, and the capability of this exciting new product. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, we've been helping people get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And if you're new to the channel, on the Solar Surge channel, we talk about all things having to do with solar power, battery backup, and emergency power systems for your home. Now, in today's video, I'm actually excited to be joined by Vicki Kumar, who is a senior application engineer at Panasonic. And she's gonna be explaining to us all about the new Panasonic Evervolt energy storage system and the technology and the features and the capabilities that are available for you. So let's go right to the interview. Okay, folks, well, today we have a special treat for you. Um, this morning, I'm joined by Vicki Kumar from Panasonic. She's a senior systems engineer with the Solar and Energy Storage Group. And we're gonna be talking more about uh, Panasonic's home energy storage system and, and how this might work for you. So Vicki, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Joe. It's a pleasure to be here and connect with you today. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're excited to have you on. So if you wouldn't mind just starting out, can you tell us why, why would a home need an energy storage system? Why would somebody be looking at an energy storage system for their home? So right now, energy storage is like the buzz of the town, especially amongst like residential um, market. The reason being, uh, we are ha we have advanced a lot in the solar energy domain, and we all have, or a large majority of the population have solar panels installed. But to make the most of it, a lot of homeowners are considering the uh, systems for energy storage, especially in areas where uh, you have any unexpected outages or even scheduled powered outages. In addition to that, having an energy storage system also allows you to make the most of your solar energy because the sun's up only during the morning and the evening, you can make use of that stored energy. In addition to that, you can also participate in time of use programs. So that way you get a lot more control and flexibility of the energy that your solar panels produce. And it's also like getting one step closer to energy independence. So a lot of homeowners are pretty much interested in that technology. So it's it's a great space to be in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that's what really first drew me towards this myself was this this idea that we now have the ability to be energy independent, at least at a household level, if not a national level, at least at a household level, we have the ability to capture and store our, our own energy for day or night usage. So exactly. So Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. So tell us about your solution, the Panasonic solution. How, how does this differ from some of the other systems that are on the market? So the Panasonic solution, which we call as the Evervolt system, is a battery plus inverter system. So a lot of um, confusion predominantly comes as to what components are included in a system itself. So the way our system works is we have uh, two major sizes or capacities which is the 17.1 kilowatt hours and 11.4 kilowatt hours. And what this specifically means is we have a battery cabinet, which has batteries stacked inside, and that connects to an inverter. We have both AC coupled and DC coupled options. So if you do have solar panels already and you do have a PV inverter connected uh, to the solar system, you can go for our AC coupled options. So it ties in directly with the AC coupled uh, PV inverter and you can store the energy in the battery. In addition to that, we also have the DC coupled system, which is if you're going for a new solar system altogether, you don't need an additional PV inverter as well. So the PV or the solar panels directly con connect to this inverter, which has the capability of doing the string inverter conversion. And it also acts as a battery inverter. So it's a complete standalone system. And it also has a communications device, so that makes it uh, smarter and you can monitor it online as well as control it. So those are the three major components of the system. And um, how it differentiates from the other products in the market is uh, we have considered a lot about how we can offer the complete home energy solution. 
So one major different, differentiating factor is the flexibility, which is we have both AC coupled and DC coupled. And uh, the explanation is uh, with AC coupled systems, you, it's for retrofitting purposes. And DC coupled system is if you're going for a new solar system altogether. And uh, if you look at the other features, one major feature that we have seen a lot of people talk about is the generator integration. So if you have the battery system, it's pretty much sufficient to have like backup or uh, use it during the evenings when the sun's down. But in addition to that, having the capacity of integrating with the generator also offers additional level of resiliency. So in case the batteries are out, the house can still be powered by the generator. So there are various functions that you can see with the storage system itself. But uh, our biggest differentiating is like flexibility and how it can integrate with different types of PV, existing PV systems as well. And um, yeah, so that's the gist of it, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can cover more as we talk. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you mentioned. So, so one thing that jumped out, you said it comes in both an AC coupled and a DC coupled configuration. So we can retrofit this onto existing grid tie solar. Let's say if Let's say if a house has solar panels with microinverters, you could add the, the Panasonic Evervolt system to that? Exactly. So uh, if you have uh, the few major markets out there for the solar inverter system would be like Enphase, SolarEdge, SMA, and a lot more out there, you can easily integrate that with our AC coupled option. Okay, now with, now with the DC coupled option, and most of our listeners are gonna know what this, this means, at least at a, at a high level. So with the DC coupled option, it, it is a fully standalone hybrid inverter. Is that correct? The single inverter can do both the grid tie function and the battery backup function? That's correct. So the PV string inverter functionality is inbuilt into the DC coupled inverter option. Neat. Now, what about for off-grid? Because I know you also mentioned you have a generator connection option as well. And if you've seen some of the other videos, I, I say oftentimes why it's very important to have a generator option when you're off the grid, because you're always going to run into some period of time where there's just overcast weather. Um, how does the generator, the generator option work with this system? So that's a great question. Uh, we do have some of our customers who have gone for the off-grid option, uh, though there are a lot of calculations and things to keep in mind before we go into that, because uh, one one good thing is our systems are stackable, so you can get a maximum power output uh, as well as maximum storage capacity. We can stack up to three systems, and uh, that gives you a power output of about 16.5 kilowatt hours, sorry, kilowatts, and that should be sufficient to power most of the appliances in the house. And the storage capacity can be extended all the way up to 102 kilowatt hours with up to two battery cabinets per inverter. So that way we have a wide range of capacity that we can provide the house for an off-grid situation. In addition to that, the generator integration works in a way that um, you can auto start the generator when it's connected to the Evervolt inverter. So that way, if the grid is out and the battery is drained out completely, the generator kicks in and starts powering up the loads. The other option that we are working on is having the capability of the generator to charge the batteries. So that is something in progress and we should have out there soon. Excellent, excellent. Well, I, I know our, our off-grid audience is gonna have a, a keen interest in that particular capability. So right. I, I wanna make sure that we have the specs correct. So so a single a single Evervolt inverter unit, what, what would we be looking at in terms of the power rating per inverter? So per inverter, it's 5.5 kilowatts and it's stackable up to three systems. So you can multiply it like if it's a two system, it's about 11 kilowatts and three systems, 16.5 kilowatts. Okay, great. And then as far as the batteries, the batteries are, are stackable as well. Is that correct? That's correct. So per battery cabinet, uh, it's a little modular. The way we have designed our system is we wanted to avoid the whole huge block, uh, which requires two people to install. So we went for the design where we have 55 pound battery modules and each system can have either four or six battery modules within the cabinet. And each cabinet um, is about like, if, if you have six batteries, it's about 17.1 kilowatt hours. And you can have up to two battery cabinets per inverter. So you can go for like one single inverter system with 34 kilowatt hour capacity. 
And if you're stacking them up, you can do 34 times three all the way to like 102 kilowatt hours. So it's very, very flexible. We have different sizing capacities depending on what the homeowner needs. And if they feel like they need to upsize the system sometime in the near future, that is an option too. So if they go for, let's say a four battery system at the beginning, but two months down into the system, they feel like they need more capacity, they can add two more batteries to the same system. Great, okay. So it sounds like you have a lot of flexibility here. Can start small, can expand. In the future, we'll be able to charge from generator as well, which I think is very, very interesting technology. Now, as you know, we've been getting a lot of interest and a lot of inquiries recently about these new smart electrical panels. Um, there's, a, I think, a lumen panel. There is a, uh, a leviton panel as well as a span panel that I'm aware of where the electrical circuit breaker panel itself can do some of the load management and some of the critical load management uh, for you. How does how does the Panasonic ESS integrate with this type of smart smart load management device? So that's a definitely wonderful question because the way conventional energy system energy storage systems work is you decide what your essential loads or your backed up loads are going to be at the beginning itself. But with the smart panel option, you get to be more flexible again with it. So uh, we have integration, like I, we have integration with Span and we have done uh, some of the systems with Lumen. So that way we are constantly working on integrating with other vendors out there too. So the way it works is uh, we do have our own communications device, the Smart Hub, and that communicates online, transmits the necessary data from the inverter and the battery. And when it communicates with smart panels, you can see what type of loads are being consumed by um, the house and also monitor your energy levels in the battery. That kind of flexibility allows you to select which loads you want to be powered on, like which loads you want to power on at different times. Say for instance, right now you're not using some of the appliances in the house, you can switch that energy for another appliance that you need at that time. So this kind of flexibility offers a lot more loads to be connected to the essential loads panel, because as we discussed, the inverter does have limitations in terms of the power capacity. So you can't have all loads like turned on at once. So having a smart panel option and having it integrated with your system offers you to control which devices you want powered on at different times from the mobile app. So that kind of flexibility is very crucial for having that uh, let's say, freedom to choose your loads. Absolutely, absolutely. It's so important, especially in, in a rural environment. Um, have you seen the, the, the product used and applications where people are maybe not off the grid, but they're, they're away from public utilities, so they have to do their own water pumping? Have you seen how the, how the product has a, a chance to operate in that type of environment? I haven't personally seen it, but I'm sure there are projects out there. We do have like our systems installed all over the country. So there are a lot of different projects. And uh, the thing about energy storage market itself is every energy storage system has been unique. It's not like solar panels where you go up on the roof, you install it and it's done. So with energy storage, every homeowner has a different requirement and every home has different energy needs so that we keep all that in mind. So uh, the way we work is we have different types of systems um, installed and different requirements, and we are there to consult our installers on how to get it done. So we do offer all types of technical support as well as engineering drawing review and uh, additional resources to even figure out how we can make the system work and how we can meet the customer needs. So it's pretty customizable as well. Great, great. So, so Vicky, where, where do you see this technology going in the future? So uh, it's, it's going to be there everywhere eventually because I feel like energy independence is something a lot of homeowners are becoming more and more aware of. And also energy efficiency is a big topic again. So when a home has both solar and energy storage and they have that kind of ability to regulate and monitor their system, they're also actively participating in various utility programs. So that way uh, we progress towards building a concept of like smart grids and become more um, proficient with our energy use as well. So um, it's definitely a technology that a lot of people are interested in. And um, 
it's it's a, it's a growing space. I feel like uh, we have almost saturated our solar growth, I would say, but energy storage is definitely catching up to that. And we are expecting to see an exponential growth in the upcoming years. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I would like to see us get to the point where having a home battery or a home energy storage system is, is as popular or as common as having a, a traditional standby generator like you see all the time now. So I think the technology is there. Well, Vicki, I know we're almost getting getting to the end of our time here, but uh, for people that want to go ahead and get this product now or learn more about it, where can they find this? Where can they find this now if they want to um, to get more information or actually the schedule for an installation? All right. So uh, the best or the easiest way is uh, just a quick Google search for Panasonic Evervolt, and that leads to our web page, which has dedicated resources for both homeowners and installers. So um, if you're a homeowner interested in learning about the system and also finding a good installer, you can go there and um, look it up. We do have a lot of technical bulletins, um, ebooks, guides, anything and everything to make an informed decision. You can also sign up um, on the page uh, and then you will receive updates regarding any webinars that we are hosting. So we do host a lot of webinars that train homeowners. And if you're an installer, we do have a dedicated resources page for you as well. And the email address that you can reach out to with any technical question would be uh, Panasonic Evervolt support at us.panasonic.com. And if you have, if you're interested to learn more about the system, like you don't have any specific questions yet, but you would like to have more resources, then it would be Panasonic battery storage at us.panasonic.com. I can share the links with you later, Joe, so we can. That's right. No, that'll be great. And then I'll, I'll be sure we'll, we'll get the uh, links in the description down below so that everybody can access them there. Um, well, Vicki, I thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your morning to talk to us and talk to the Solar Surge audience about the ESS. I'm sure we're going to have a lot more interest in this product. And I look forward to getting this video uh, out there so that more people can you know, be aware of what, what you all have available. So thank you so much. Definitely, Joe. Thank you so much for hosting me as well. Happy to talk. <laughs> All right, you got it. Have a great day. Great. You too. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, thanks again for taking the time to tune into the Solar Surge channel today. As always, if you need to get a price estimate or to see what equipment is available in your area in terms of solar and battery backup, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. Um, that'll just take you to our website. You can schedule a short virtual meeting with one of our consultants and really just talk through what your needs and goals are. And then if need be, we can help you get connected with a licensed qualified contractor in your area to help you get the system installed. As always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on the channel, please be sure to click that like button down there. I know I say it all the time, but it's, it's really, really important to help make sure that the videos have visibility. Otherwise, YouTube will just move on and go to something else. Uh, and speaking of that, also make sure that you click on the subscribe button so that as we publish new videos, they'll come up in your feed and that way you'll have a chance to see what we're putting out there. Well, thank you for tuning into the channel again today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.